All right, Shalom. Let me start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rokakodash. Double honors to the apostles and bishops and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and salutations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect, doing his work in truth and sincerity. And, uh, you know, vocab right now is basically coming to the realization of the, of the uh, saying, uh, you have to laugh to keep from crying, you know, and I, and I say that is because, you know, um, you know, spirits been coming out, you know, this past uh, week, two weeks, you know, um, about this individual, you know, just really looking into like this little parody videos that he makes and, and, and making mockery um, um, of this ministry that we are, uh, you know, wholeheartedly believe in, you know. Um, and this is a, a serious matter, and and he's making it as a as a light thing, in trying to uh, uh, discredit uh, uh, things that are written therein, you know. And um, I, I believe that this has also been a a a, a roller coaster, uh, uh, you know, uh, journey for him, you know, in 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 basically a learning curve, so to speak, you know, because uh, when you think about this man's background. Okay, um, he earned a, a, a master's in, uh, uh, you know, uh, theology, you know, and he went to a seminary school back in uh, Phoenix. And, um, you know, for uh, this man to be set up and basically uh, 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 sent out there to be a, uh, uh, a thorn in the side to Israel, you know, um, they had to put somebody in place uh, that can basically, uh, uh, that has, uh, you know, you know, basically some type of remedial, at least some type of remedial knowledge, you know, of the scriptures, you know, and, um, you know, this thing, you know, he knows certain scriptures though, but, uh, uh but as far as, as through the spirit and the power of, of Yahweh Barashim Abishai, this, 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 this truth in this ministry that the Lord has, has given into his, uh, the remnant, you know, um, he has no far understanding, you know, he's standing on the, uh, the guise of, uh, of Christianity, you know, which basically, uh, you know, uh, really destroyed our people, you know, as a nation, you know, and this is their their last stronghold right here. This is the man who was supposed to be the last stronghold between um the elites and the elect, you know, and um this man has been uh uh, uh you know uh, you know coming through the camps for years and 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 you know with his madness and and no matter how many times you know we're telling the truth. You know, he 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 basically uh, uh, comes back, you know, with 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 something else, but uh, you know, and, and and a lot of times, you know, he he's you know deceitful, you know, he uh basically you know uh, slanders, you know, but the bottom line is is that, you know, he goes back and, and searches the scriptures to see what we're talking about, you know, and um I think it's 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 seeping in, you know, that he basically uh. uh you know, understands uh, uh, is understanding this truth, and is seeing that there's there's no uh, uh, salvation, uh, 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 particularly for the nation of Edom, as we keep on trying to uh, 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 reiterate to this individual, you know, and uh, you know, and I say that that he's it's been a the great learner curve for him, man, you know, and I basically I think he sees sees uh, uh you know uh, 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 this truth. And I think it, it terrorizes him, you know. I think this man has uh, a lot of sleepless nights. But um, let me start off with um, Isaiah chapter 29, um, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? You know, and, um, you know, this man has made, you know, uh, you know, he's uh, attending a secret council concerning um, the Hebrew Israelites. And, you know, he basically uh, uh, is sent, you know, he's sent to, uh, 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 you know, be a, 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 a disruptive uh, 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 character uh, uh, in, in trying to insert himself within this ministry and to, you know, spew his, his madness that he's been trained up to, to learn, you know. And um, it's clearly sent, you know, but, you know, but woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsel, man. You know, you have to remember 
you know, uh, uh, pursuant to, uh, you know, Psalms, uh, um, Psalms, the 82nd chapter, you know, um, they are still, you know, hell bent on cutting us off from being a nation, you know, and, um, you know, I, I, lo I look at this man and, and I see, you know, what, you know, uh, a lot of the times, man, you know, he's really being, uh, I'm gonna stop short of saying a secret disciple, but he's basically being used, you know, uh, uh, uh within this ministry that we're in, you know, as, as for ed edification, so to speak, because his voice, um, he speaks for the, the masses of the people, uh, concerning Christianity. Okay. You know, we go into these other pastors and exposing them for what they are. And, you know, we already know that they're only out there to fill their own belly, but we, we, we challenge them to, to basically go into the scriptures, man, you know? And, uh, you know, he, he, he basically, uh, when he first came out, he basically, you know, challenged us on every single issue that he had an issue with everything that we brought out, you know, but he's been learning, you know, and then when you, when you take these, these bumps and bruises and, 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 and uh, 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 chin checks, you know, through the spirit, you know, with these scriptures, you know, the Lord said that this is a, 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 a two edged sword, you know, and, uh, you know, you learn from that, you see. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much that, that, that he's learned so much more than he has learned than when he went to this, uh, this standardized uh, um, theologian school, you know, okay? But it says that um, because you, your works are in the dark, you see, all right? Because he sent forth, but it says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed Say of him that framed it, he have no understanding. You see, and 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 just like how you know, I want to like to go back to the story with um um with Balak and, and Balaam, you know, where Balak, you know, the uh the princes of Moab, you know, sent forth uh, uh Balaam to, to to curse Israel, you know, and uh he, he tried to he, he can't kick against the pricks, man, you know, you know he, he tried to uh, uh put an enchantment on Israel and and it couldn't be done. Okay, you see, because why? It's because um, the eyes were open, you know, uh, 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 to to uh, to Balaam. Okay, Balaam seen that uh, you know you can't put no curse on Israel, and uh, you know I, I would you know kind of refer to uh, you know uh, Balak, you know, being you know representing the elites, you know, and uh, you know you know Balaam, you know, representing Malone being that hired that hired uh, 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 vessel. To try to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, send a, a, a message or basically, you know, uh, frustrate us in our building, so to speak, you know, and uh, I think the Lord now is kind of like, a, a, you know, seeing this man and in, in, in for what he is and in, in, in having his eyes open to really realize, man, you know, hey, man, listen, these, these are the people, you know, but, uh, you know, he had made that agreement that he still has to, uh, you know, still do his thing because he's an Edomite at the end of the day, man. You know, and you're trying to make this thing as a as a, 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 a color thing. And it's not not all about that, though. We teach that, man. We don't teach this being a color thing, man. The color thing is a standardized uh, 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 social construct that has been created here, here in Babylon, man. OK, so now when you, we're speaking about what we're speaking on, OK, you know, we still got to refer to uh, um, the tears and wheat. You know, because that's what it all boils down to at the end of the day, you know, and the, and, and the holy angels, when they, when they make their, when the Lord makes his return, they go, they're going to decipher who is between the tears and the wheat, you know, it just so happens that, you know, uh, some that, that are of the wheat, you know, they are uh, of the other nations and they're going to look like the other nations, but they go back to the stock of Jacob, you know, and this is what we teach, you know, you see, but you, you can't get around that. But once you start to understand what we're saying and, and, and we're not. Uh, 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 being uh, uh, moved off of our stance on what we're saying, we're standing firm. We're standing bold as a lion, man. Okay, you see, and I and I see and I see that he has some type of admiration for that secretly, you know, you see, because he jumps from uh, uh, well, you know, the Edomites ain't the so-called white man, and, and 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 well, Edom is gone, Edom is not here, but you know, you're jumping around and trying to change your position because you're running out of wiggle room, you know, when we're bringing out these scriptures. And we're bringing out uh, um, these um, these uh, 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 precepts, man. You can't get around it. You see? You see, that's one thing you can't get around. But um, let me get into real quick. Let me get into the story with um, um, with Balak and Balaam uh, in the book of Numbers. 
this is a couple of things that I want to draw, draw it, um, and bring forth, you know, but, um, let's go with numbers 24 and, um, well, let me start at, uh, 13, you know, because, you know, Balaam was basically, you know, the Lord was basically, uh, uh you know, uh, given, um, the Lord was basically given, um, Balaam, okay, the vision, you know, of how uh, the children of Israel are, are, are a blessed nation. And you can't basically, uh, uh, you know, curse what he has blessed. You know, you can't condemn what he has not condemned. You see? And and Balak basically was trying to offer, uh, you know, uh, Balaam, you know, uh, 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 everything under the sun to be able to handle the task of, of basically cursing the children of Israel. And he did it, uh, tried to do it three times. You see? Okay, so he was actually defying uh, 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 um, Yahweh man, and that's really re representing the elites, man. You see, okay, but let's 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 pick it up at Numbers chapter twenty-four, verse thirteen. If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of Yahweh to do neither good or bad in my own mind. You know, and, and you can't do either good or bad in your own mind. You know. If if if, if Volcan Malone's tongue is gonna to fall upon himself, it's all because of Yahweh Bashim Abu Shai. You know, you know, we, we it, brothers have put up a video where he's basically trying to he, he's breaking down the scriptures the way that we would break it down. You see, and then when he tries to debunk it, you don't have no no type of uh, rebuttal. Your 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 rebuttal is just to reject it though, but you don't go into the scriptures to say otherwise. You see, which is making people to think and con and consider. Okay, so he's basically being used as a vessel, okay, all right, to bring uh, 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 um, the, the the children until thy brethren, man, okay, talking about the, the bring it back to the, the, the 12 tribes, man, okay, he's he's that, that glass Joe uh, 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 vessel that we're using, man, for edification, man, for our people, man, because you, you can see how redundant and, and, and ridiculous the whole, uh, uh, the whole, you know, standard of, of what Christianity is, and, and it's not making sense. You see, all right, because why? It's because it's being challenged with the scriptures, man. It's not just something that we're gonna say, and nobody's gonna have to say anything against it. Okay, you see, again, you can't kick against the pricks, man. You see, but it says, right, <clears throat> and now behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do. To thy people in the late latter days, you know he's basically seeing that those because we're, we're basically telling him, man. Okay, you see, you know we can see that it's uh, you know, and 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 when when you look at him individually, you know you, you think it's going in one ear and out the other, but this man is actually taking heed, man. You know he he's not he know he when he he knows that he's not uh, uh, encountering. Um, um, your, 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 your everyday so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man. Okay. He understands that, um, the, 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 uh, the stereotypical, uh, 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 Jake, so to speak, you know, all right. He knows that we're not them. You see that? Okay. So he's really in, in his subconscious. He's, he's considering, right. And it says, verse 15, and he took up this parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said that the man whose eyes had been opened, you know, and he said, and he had said that which heard the words of, of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty fall into a trance, having his eyes open, you know, and basically, man, this man is falling to a trance part is because, you know, uh, 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 you know, we're, we're hitting him with these scriptures, man, you see? All right. And, for, you know, and, and, um, I don't want to mess up the saying that the apostle used to say. He said, uh, in order for you to know the truth, you have to be able to tell the lie, you know, and, uh, you know, he has to have a, a counter to what we're saying. So he has to really study, study, study. You see, and then this man, he's probably studied more than he has studied than even when he got his so-called uh, 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 master's degree in, in the theology. You see, you know, but it says, I see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Okay, we know we're talking about Yahweh Shai, and basically, and basically the return of our king. You see, 
And it says, um, <clears throat> and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Asiath. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession. Right? Talking about the land and the people. Right? And it says, <clears throat> for, his, for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Right? Out of Jacob shall come, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth in the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up this parable and said, Arab Amalek was the first of the nations, but his, his latter end shall be that he shall perish forever. And that's basically what we're telling him in a nutshell. You see? All right. And, and when he has to get the report back, you know, and bring the receipts back to, to, to his, uh, his, uh, who, who hired him. Okay. You know, he would have to have this, this earnest, uh, conversation with them concerning, uh, uh um, what he was sent forth to do, man, is to be a, a hindrance, a hindrance to us. And to basically from the, uh, to, uh, basically continue to cut us off from being a nation, you know? Okay. Because when you talk about you so-called, uh, uh, Christians, you know, you, you want to sit here and talk about the third temple. Well, where's you looking for a, a, a physical third temple that you Christians are not even talking about, man. All right. What you're seeing before your eyes, vocab, is, is the spiritual temple already being built before your eyes, man. And the spiritual temple is, 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 is the remnant coming together, man. You see? Coming back into the fold, man. That's the spiritual temple, man. That's the temple that, that, you, that you people are, are, are looking for, man. It's right before your eyes, man. You see? Okay? But basically, in a nutshell... With, with but Balaam's eyes being wide open, okay, you know, all right, the Lord gave him the vision of, of, of this people in the latter days, man. You see, all right, and 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 really, hey, and, and the apostles always say, man, he, this man, you know, he he's trying hard to be, he wants to be an Israelite, man. You see, you know, he he tries to do the swag thing, and this is all a spiritual thing, you know, we're trying to get the swag down and everything else though, but he's like a little bit off, off beat, you know, a little uh, uh, quirky, you know. And which really, in, in in the way that he he his, his mannerisms is off at, at times, man, we we consider him to be be a, a tear, man. You see, okay, but um, but he wouldn't mind uh, uh being uh, uh uh what we what we claim to be, you know, all right, and and, and really he's really of of Amalek in, in in a nutshell, man. So this is uh, even more reason why he's fighting so hard, man. You know, I think this thing has become a little bit personal for him, man, because he's hearing things. That his that his that his ears are not delighting in, man. When we really get into these scriptures, man, you see, you know. But uh, I want to hit real quick from there. Um, <clears throat> let's go to uh, let me go to Second Edris. One second, it's not here. Pull it up. Maybe to pull it up here. Let's see. Let's go to Second Edges, Chapter Six. Um, verse twenty seven. You know, um, well, let me start up a little bit to get some proper understanding though. But we, you know, we're entering into the, the last days, man. You know. And, uh, and and this is something that these Christians are not talking about. But he sees that we're constantly talking about these things, man. So he has to actually really consider, man. You see? All right? You know, he's thinking that he's doing uh, uh, the deed of the elites. But really, you're doing the deeds of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, man. You know? You see? Right? Because that time is coming where we're talking about uh, 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 destruction coming, man. You know? This is um, um, Second Edges, chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know, and this is all. This is just more more than us saying that the white man is the devil. Okay, this is this is a much more vast uh, uh, um, um, to this truth. This this layers to this truth, man. This this real depth to this truth. You know, we're speaking about things. We're speaking about what is called prophecy, man. You know, things that that we're saying before it actually happens, man. And we're starting to see these things come upon the earth, man. You see. Okay, what you average, what your average everyday Christian throughout the whole world is not speaking about, man. You know, right? In verse twenty-three, and a trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, 
shall suddenly be afraid. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear of those things that dwell therein. And the springs and fountains shall stand still and three hours shall not run. Whosoever remaineth of these things that have I told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Okay, so now yeah, we actually well, we're looking forward to a, a world to proceed the one that's languishing away, as you see right before your very eyes, man. You see? Okay? And we're the only ones that's speaking about these things, man. All right? This is why he's always, that's why, that's why GMS, Great Millstone, is always coming out of his mouth, man. Okay? He knows that he's dealing with, with the actual men of the Lord, man. You see? All right? All right? Whether he says it, admits it or not, or, 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 or something that's embedded subconsciously within him, man. Okay? You see? It says, um, right? And men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and shall, and their heart of and heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning, you know, and it's really talking about the remnant, man. Okay, when we get those 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 uh, um those glorious bodies, man. Okay, Paul said that we're gonna uh, at the twinkling of our eye, we shall be changed, man. You know, you know. <clears throat> but it says, man, the point that I want to make is that, um, in verse twenty-seven, for evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which has so long been without fruit shall be declared, man. And we're actually seeing that right now, man. You know, right? Faith, faith, and and, 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 and amongst the elect, man. Okay, because the Lord did say that shall he found faith on the earth, man. Because a lot of people are not going to have faith. Because why? It's because their foundation is not uh, 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 grounded on, on the doctrine sent forth from Bihar Bashim Abishai through Great Millstone, man. Okay? If we don't have that foundation, man, okay, hey, man, you, 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 you're not going to have that faith, man. You see? You know? Okay? And, and, and the truth, which is, has a long, long, but without fruit, man, is basically coming into fruition right now, man. Okay? Because whatever this, this individual does, man, the truth is always going to still prevail at the end of the day, man. Okay? You see? Just the fact that he's trying to put us on, 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 on a certain platform, okay, is really giving us exposure. And, hey, and whoever's amongst them that is going to come into the fold is going to come into the fold, man. You know, again, this is all, all, all the acts of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, man. Okay, and the Lord said that his word should not return unto him void, man, but shall accomplish all that he pleaseth, man. Okay, all right, and what's that, man? That's the victory, man, that we're we, we, we going to receive, man. All right, and and, and the, 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 the straight way to get to there, we're starting to see that, man. Okay, all right, so with that, you know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and bishops and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And salutations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.